Hello, princesses, and welcome back to 2023 at Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Boy, we have a Dior video as our first video of the year, and this is the brand new Dior Forever Glow Veil and the Dior Forever Velvet Veil Primers. We're going to talk about them. We're going to try it on. I'm actually wearing two different primers. Hopefully that will become apparent in the demo where we will look at it in two different lights. Um, now, these are the great accompaniment to the Dior Forever uh, Liquid Foundations, which we're not going to use today in the demo. Um, I'll explain why during the demo. I do have a, a method, a reason for that. I do own them and love them very much, but um, I'll explain that a little later. Let's first talk about the products. Each of these primers um, is meant to, of course, smooth the skin, um, give 24-hour hydration or 24-hour blur and oil control, depending which one that you choose. Um, and 24 hours is quite the boast. Many of you have told me that that's important to you, especially, I have so many viewers who work, especially in healthcare and have crazy long hours walking the, the floors of hospitals and whatnot. And you really need 24 hours to pay off. Um, so this promises that. They are $50 each, so quite a price tag on them. I'll show you a little bit what they look like, though it is transparent in the bottle, but we have a kind of a, a white, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to show you them on my, we're going to show you on the face, but there you go. This is kind of priming this hand here. We'll just give it to this whole hand here. Now I do have to tell my migraine and allergy sufferers that this definitely has a burst of floral fragrance when you open it up. Not surprising for Dior. Um, including the matte, the same, of course, not surprising, but I do want to just remind you. And here we go on this. Both of these provide a really nice um, canvas for any makeup over. And you don't have to put makeup on. Here's our matte. Here is our glowy. You could just wear these to enhance the look of skin on a good skin day. I don't have that many of those. But if you do, I'm envious of you. And this might be a good go-to for you. And I think you can see the difference there, but I'll show you on the face and in two different lightings. But again, here's our glow product and here is our matte product. All right, I want to go now uh, to the demo so that we can put it on two sides of the face and put makeup over and I'll explain my philosophy and why I chose what I chose. Stick there. Okay, I'm completely barefaced and we're going to do a test with one side glowy. We'll make this the glowy side and one side matte. I don't have oily skin, so, you know, we'll just do a comparison between the two, but it's not really going to dampen down any oiliness that I have because I don't tend to have that. That's okay. And then we'll put a foundation over it. And let me just tell you, I know you want to get to the demo, so I'm sorry to stall, but what foundation to put over it became a little bit um, complicated, uh, or I made it so, for a demonstration. If I use the Dior Forever, if I used either the glowy or the matte foundations, I could have done glowy on the glowy side and matte. I wanted to see what would happen if I just use a kind of natural finish foundation, but I wanted to stick with Dior. So I went with their powder foundation. Let's see what that does for a glow. Um, in future videos, I'll mix and match. I'll try the matte with the glowy Dior foundation. I'll try the glowy with the matte Dior foundation, which I think I'll like the most. But just for today, let's see if we just even it across the face and see if we still see. I thought that we, you know, we could really compare better. Yeah, let me know. Okay, so let's start with some glow over here. Um, I'm just going to put it, first time using it, so a little bit of, I'm just going to put it here. I always do too much when I'm just doing this side of the face, because I always forget it's not my whole face. A little bit of habit, all right. Ooh, that really is glowy. Little bit of a scent here, by the way, you know, Dior, no surprise, a little bit of a fragrance. For my fragrance averse, folks, a little bit of a fragrance. Okay. There is a glowy primer on this side of my face and nothing on this side. We'll take it outside in a moment. Okay, and here we go with our kind of more matte side. Matte, not kind of more, definitely more matte side. Okay. Try to use a little less, see what this does. Okay, this will not really mattify me because I don't have any shine, um, but maybe it'll still Work its magic again, a little burst of fragrance. And it is a floral fragrance. Again, this doesn't surprise me, but um, my migraine suffers, my allergy suffers, just be aware. 
a very, very pretty primer. Okay. Here we go. We got the matte on this side, the glowy on this side. Let's take it outside. I think I'll point to the glowy side. So the side you see me pointing to will be the glowy side outside. All right, let's go ahead and add foundation over the top of both. Okay, I like this Dior powder foundation. It's just neutral, just kind of natural finish. I just thought it would be good. We'd really be able to see I mean, here, and I think outside you guys probably could see better. I like this, by the way, with the, I'm not a big pad user of foundation, but now you're going to say some of you at home are going to go, hey, a powder foundation is going to negate the properties of the, of the glowy. Not necessarily. It should give it a little more lift. After all, the matte Dior foundation, I'm just putting this over both sides. The matte Dior foundation looks so nice with a glowy primer underneath. So that can happen with powder too. We're just going to, I'm just trying to, so we can compare apples to apples and I decided to stay with Dior. That scent, by the way, is totally gone. Okay, no other makeup on. No concealer on, nothing. What do you think? Glowy side, matte side, glowy side, matte side. Let's take it outside into the warm California sunshine. And just to center you, I will point to the side that has the glowy primer underneath. Okay, so that just so you can see, there's no other makeup on. Not, definitely not a flattery shot. I'm not going to use that for any like press photos. <laughs> All right, so take a look. All right, let me get the rest of my makeup on and let's have a chat. Okay, here's my finished look. Here is the glowing primer side and the matte primer side. Before I do a little summation, because I do have an opinion, let me just tell you real quickly, if you saw my Natasha Denona video the other day, this is the Natasha Denona highlighter used on the eyes and to highlight. I like it better on the eyes than as a highlighter. If you're gonna get it, try it on the eyes as a one and done shade, kinda pretty. Okay, so let me summarize here. Now, some of you might disagree, maybe you maybe correctly with my choice to put a powder foundation on, but I just wanted something that was the same and kind of a natural finish. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the glow is definitely there on this side. Not sure my camera's picking it up. Look at the difference. See if you can see it. The glow is definitely there. Yeah, I do have some highlighter on. Even with that, the glow is definitely there. That's the good, the good news is it's very, very, very subtle. The bad news is it's very, very, very subtle. Why is that both good news and bad news? Well, it depends what you're looking for. You could take this and amp it up by adding a dewy foundation to it or by doing a really matte, matte, like for instance, the matte Dior. And I did tell you I would try that in the upcoming, in upcoming videos, and I most definitely will. I love that Dior Forever Matte Foundation, the liquid foundation, with a glowy primer. So I will try this, but I usually, usually use a glowier primer. As far as glowy bases go, from Charlotte's Hollywood Flawless Filter, to Natasha's own, what was that one she did that was kind of a glowy thing, and uh, Pat McGrath has one, and there's so many out there um, that, are, that are beautiful, iconic. London has a beautiful one. You guys know what I mean. As far as glowy primers, this is the least glowy I've ever seen. And like I said, that's good news, bad news, depending on your opinion. If you have an oilier complexion, this might just be a glowy primer that you can actually use. You know, it's not, not going to make your makeup slide off your face. It's just very subtle. If you're looking for something that's going to make you bling from the heavens, and some people are, this will not be your choice. It's very subtle, and do remember it has a scent, as does the matte. In terms of the matte primer, it is a beautiful, mattifying, nice, smooth primer. Both work really well as primers to prep the skin and the makeup applied beautifully over it, and I think looks really nice on the face. And the rest of the makeup, the colored products that we're using with pigment in them, um, look really nice on the over this. So 
it's a beautiful primer in that sense. You're not going to get a heck of a lot of glow out of this one. And this one seems to mattify nicely, keeping in mind, of course, that I do have very normal skin, not even combo. So maybe not the best. But um, if you have tried it and you have very oily skin or combo, you can let us know. That's why we're a community. Um, but so that's my good news and bad news is the same. Um, in terms of a primer, though, they work really well. In terms of glowy primer, it's a glowish, <laughs> glowy, glowish. Oh, that's a Huda product, but you know what I mean. Okay, so just, just. So weigh in below and let us know what you think. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel so we continue to grow into the new year. Wow, it's 2023 already, guys. Where's the time gone? My goodness. Hey, come and say hello over on Instagram and TikTok too. Don't be a stranger. And you can support this channel by becoming a member for all sorts of cool behind the scenes and members only coolness. And you can also give super thanks. It helps keep the lights on around here. But if nothing else, nothing is required of you, of course. And I would just love to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.